Hi, my name is Sarah McIntyre, and I'm the writer and illustrator of Grumpy Coin and Don't Call Me Grumpy Coin. And today I'm going to read you Don't Call Me Grumpy Coin, which is set in space. So here we go. These are called the end papers. And you can see here's Unicorn and he's building something. He's on the beach and you can see his little writing cottage in the background. And what is that that he's building on the dock? He's got lumber that he's bringing and tools. What could it be? Here's the title page. And here you can see he's building a rocket. You can see all these, the plans, all the stuff he needs. He's even got, he's got his biscuits and a cup of tea, moonberry tea and a, and a flask. Here we begin. Unicorn was sitting in his brand new rocket. I'm going to discover the most fabulous planet in the universe, he said. This made him feel very pleased with himself. He already liked being an astronaut. There you can see everything he's got to go into space. He's got his donut maker. He's got his tea. Uh, he's got a cereal machine, breakfast cereal. There's where he can sleep with his teddy bear, unicorn teddy bear. He's got um, pictures he's drawn of his friends. There's narwhal, jellyfish and mermaid. And he's even got some sewing stuff if he wants to sew or repair his costume. All the things you could ever want. Wait for me, called out a voice. It was mermaid. Can I come too, she asked. But there are no mermaid astronauts said Unicorn. But there could be, said Mermaid. Floating in space will be just like floating in the sea. When Unicorn turned around, he saw that his other friends, Narwhal and Jellyfish, were already in the rocket. <sighs> Unicorn sighed, all right. You can all go into space with me, but only if you let me be the first to walk on the new planet. Secretly, he was a little bit happy. He had been nervous about going into space all by himself. There they are. Jellyfish asked, Can I do the countdown? Only if you let me say, blast off, said Unicorn. Jellyfish counted. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. They all waited. <laughs> Narwhal whispered, aren't you supposed to say blast off? I was waiting to make it extra fabulous, said Unicorn. Blast off! <sighs> Mermaid said, look at me, I'm floating. We said Narwhal. Jellyfish giggled so hard she got the hiccups. <laughs> Ooh, said Mermaid. Why don't we visit that planet? I think I see some alien mermaids. No, said Unicorn. That planet does not look fabulous enough. Let's keep going. Hmm. Can we stop at this planet? asked Narwhal. What a beautiful planet. Look at all the narwhals. They're like aliens. No, said Unicorn. Let me choose going into space with my idea. This is the best planet. Pick up the jellyfish. Look at them, all the little alien jellyfish. No, snapped Unicorn. Will you all be quiet and let me fly the rocket? You are all backseat astronauts and I am very annoyed. What a grumpy corn, said Jellyfish. Don't call me grumpy corn, hollered Unicorn. Call me Captain. Captain grumpy corn, giggled Jellyfish. <laughs> oh dear. Their rocket touched down neatly on a sparkly purple planet. Everyone put on their spacesuits 
and got stuck in the doorway as they all tried to go out at once. I got really excited. No, said Unicorn, it must be me who goes out the door first. Me. Unicorn made a grand entrance onto the fabulous planet and planted his unicorn flag in the grass. That's one small step for a unicorn and one giant leap for unicorn kind. Except we've never met another unicorn, said Mermaid. So it is just a giant leap for you. Leap, said Jellyfish. This planet is so fabulous that surely there will be more unicorns here, said Unicorn. What more could anyone want? I could want to get rid of my hiccups, said Jellyfish. Just then Jellyfish gave a surprised hiccup. Eek! Mermaid whispered, we are surrounded. Are these unicorns fabulously friendly? asked Narwhal. My new fabulous friends, whinnied Unicorn. He's very excited. Narwhal, Mermaid, and Jellyfish waited for Unicorn to come back to them. They waited and waited. Look at them, they're sitting in a little puddle there. Hmm, there's a little alien frog, you can see there. Looks a bit grumpy, actually. And there you can see all the unicorns doing fabulous things. Look, they're getting to art classes and going to the beauty parlor. And there's like a party or something going on up there. I do not know, said Jellyfish. How can we make him come back? She gave a nervous giggle. <laughs> they were very loud hiccups. <laughs> unicorn was not sure he liked being around all these fabulous unicorns. All the unicorns were busy doing fabulous things. Skating and was in a band, exercising. But he felt a little bit lost. What is that annoying sound? asked the unicorns. Make it go away. Eek! said Jellyfish. The unicorns herded Mermaid, Narwhal, and Jellyfish back into the rocket. Goodbye, they said. We only want fabulous unicorns on this planet. Oh my goodness, look at that. They're gonna have to leave. The three friends sat in the rocket. Eek, said Jellyfish very quietly. I suppose I will go find the mermaid planet, said Mermaid. And I will find the narwhal planet, said Narwhal. I don't want to go to the jellyfish planet, said Jellyfish. I want to go home. Goodbye, Unicorn, said Mermaid sadly. Oh no. You can do the countdown, Mermaid, said Jellyfish. I still have the hiccups. Mermaid began. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. <gasps> Wait, shouted a voice. Narwhal bounced up and down. It's Unicorn. Please don't leave without me, panted Unicorn. But don't you want to stay with all the other fabulous unicorns on the most fabulous planet in the universe? asked Mermaid. Eek! said Jellyfish. No, said Unicorn. They were not very fabulous because they were not very kind to you. The most fabulous planet is the one where all four of us can live together. Jellyfish wriggled with happiness. I am so glad that my hiccups have stopped. Let's go back to our own fabulous planet, said Narwhal. So they did. Maybe you recognize that planet. And there you can see them on the very back. They've still got the rocket, but it looks like it's been turned into a hot tub. And can you see what else it's become? It's a tree house. They've turned it into a tree house for some birds. And Unicorn, who was all about himself, is actually helping. He's serving them some drinks in the hot tub. And I think you can even see that little frog that you saw earlier. He's come along for the ride. And lots of little worms and a few things that you can look for there. So that is the end of 
Don't call me Grumpy Corn. And I hope you enjoyed it. You can find more activities on my website, jabberworks.co.uk. Come and do some drawing with me.